Just a quick one before we start guys, we are on Patreon as Blend the Bros together with Josh and amazing stuff is coming on November so don't miss it. Many thanks to every single person who supports us and you know these guys are incredible so thank you so much. Hi guys, Sri here with Naritude for Blender and this one's gonna be all about hard ups and box color. We're gonna do some hard surface fun. So it's gonna be a doodle but I wanna show you how to create something simple yet appearing complex. Let's grab a cube and let's actually make it a little bit bigger and apply scale. So also let's apply screencast keys because reasons. What I want to create is something out of the cube that's going to be, well, not cube like. So we're going to break the cube. Uh, so let's uh, let's chamfer this one and let's grab an angle and let's slice it from the top. OK, so we're going to be in view mode. And we're just gonna slice it from the top, so select it. And also, I mean, the uh, when you press D, um, I have an angle lock enabled, meaning my my angles are snapping to to an angle, right? So if you hold Control, you can release it. So we're going to slice it like this, and mirror this, and slice it here as well. All right, and then we're going to sharpen this to apply it. And we're going to grab this one and we're going to curve it. OK, then let's go to side view and we want to introduce a little bit more, um, more segments here. So we're going to use dice. OK, so let's go to mesh tools and dice and move your mouse to the right and scroll up. And actually, when you press shift, you can lock this to uh, to view uh, to life. I mean, and you can move this dice all around. So it's kind of as if you're moving, uh, you know, a set of knives, knife bullion, because when I select these two and simply go bullion knife, boom, magic happens. And you got this one, you know, sliced the way you want it. Right. So now what we can do is we can grab lattice and we can have some fun with it. So let's actually um apply a modifier i mean smart apply to apply the mirror okay and what we're gonna do now is we're going to apply a lattice and go q and z click it and move your mouse to move it up to here maybe that's too many you know let's actually introduce three of them that's enough uh go to side view and press b and select if you're in lattice mode you don't need to go extra mode here uh, on the top you're simply gonna select through the mesh i mean through the lattice anyway so even if you select one with uh, you know in orthographic mode you can select two at the same time so uh, let's select maybe um, let's select maybe two of them so b and select these and we could in fact drop a cursor in here in the middle and select these two s switch this one to cursor the pivot point and rotate it like this okay all right rotate it like this and let me see here so what we're gonna do now is gonna slice this from the top like this okay let's see if we have view mode we are in a view mode so let's do this again uh, let me see this What's going on here? Let's apply this lattice to modifiers first and see what's going to happen. So let's apply, uh, go to operations, let's multiply, and now let's slice this difference really now. Much fascinate. And that's curious. Let's remove this one. Remove this one. Let's go here and remove this boolean. Now let's see what's going on here. Whoa, that's fascinating. Oh, it's because of these. Yes. We're going to select <coughs> this one and delete that. And we're done. And dissolve edges. Select the top F and sharpen there we go now we can slice this perfect 
So sharpen this, add some bevel. And we got this cool shape going on. So let's try to <clears throat> let's try to make it more interesting, shall we? So first of all, what we could do is this is not even, so let's make this even. There you go. And sharpen. Now select this edge here and we need to fix this a little bit. So let's draw a knife here and select this edge from here to here and dissolve it. Come on, dissolve the edge. Whoa, really now? Ah, that's what I want to select. Dissolve edges, okay? D symmetry and to the other side okay perfect now we can actually bevel this so we can bevel this here like this and symmetry okay cool now we got this ship going on now if we uh, get rid of these two uh these two uh, edges here we could actually bevel this one as well like this this is getting uh, this is getting slowly interesting now this is definitely a broken box uh, but now we can you know have some fun with it in terms of slicing so for example uh, let's uh, let's grab a circle and let's switch it to to a, to a knife I mean not to a knife to a slush and let's make this 80 verts that should do slice through let's recall this cutter right and let's position it somewhere that's gonna be you know not as destructive like for example we got a lot of words guys remember this right you know so we need to be sort of respectful in a way now let me see this uh geo here yes yeah, so, you know if i go here you see this is really close right so you could enable the uh, um uh, with shift c you could enable the um uh, you know net uh, wireframe view so you can position it in between these two edges here okay so shift c c is gonna cause less problems bottom can be fixed it's okay so let's then solidify this uh inside like this okay or maybe even outside outside is better and let's let's try to move this to uh place where it's gonna cause you know less havoc right so something like this all right and let's maybe move this outside a little bit so it doesn't slice completely through okay so now let's sharpen this and we can you know we can start cleaning this up and the way the best way to clean up you know this one first of all we're gonna drop the bevel because bevel is insane and this will already fix a lot of problems thanks to the fact that we have a lot of geometry we don't have to worry too much about shading you see shading is pretty clean because we have a lot of geo supporting it now if uh, we didn't have you know all these uh, rectangles here in fact if you wanted to before you completed the cut you could have uh, run uh, diagonal loops to make them into a qu more quad quads like yeah so you know you have more geo to support all this garbage okay because it's a lot of mess in here and we're gonna have to clean this up a little bit uh, you could combine these two that's fine combine these two uh, combine these two in fact you gotta be careful here because remember that this loop here right supports the the curvature so if i was you know I'll probably run something like this, you know, and maybe down here. And this one, this one is tricky. Shift one, I would say with machine tools, shift one, you know, shift one and this one to this one, definitely, right? And here what we got, um, yeah, here just combine them. Com I uh, would be careful here. You 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 support you know these these uh, this uh, uh, supports two curvatures right? It's really tricky, guys. You gotta be careful. Don't merge them willy nilly. Yeah? It's it's not uh, you know. This is not a joke. Yeah, like this one here that is tricky. I will just leave it alone. 
This is gonna be combined because it causes shading problems. It can be left alone and you're good, you see? Now look at this shading. Although geometry is not perfect, the shading is really nice. We can keep going here, right? So let's, so let's, and uh, let's grab this and control L and P to its own selection. And let's go to the top and what we can do, we could actually flatten this out. So we could simply select this one in the middle and flatten this out. So grab a box and boom, right? Do something like this and sharpen. And uh, we could insert it a little bit like this. Wait a minute, it's going for the cursor. So change the individual origins, insert it a little bit and then extrude it, all right? And share for this, all right? We got something like this, cool. Now we can have some fun. So let's uh, drop a cursor here and let's uh, go for the good old snapping tool. And um, we need to be in object mode for this to work, otherwise it will not. And hold control and alt. And we need to be also in a box mode, which we are good. So hold control and alt and then, so hold control first, yeah then draw the shape and then hold alt it's gonna draw from the middle you see then you can release control but hold alt yeah that's important and then press v twice and you're gonna get this uh, lovely um press b for bevel you're gonna get this lovely um, array coming from the middle of um, this shape yeah otherwise it's not gonna be in the middle so let's grab these buggers and let's you know scale scale this a little bit yeah, scale this a little bit like that. Perfect. Sharpen this and shift to and we got this. Peachy, peachy. All right, now let me see. Let's go to the top view and oh yeah, we need to sort of mirror this to the other side. So select this and this, Alt X, X to reset the mirror because we need symmetry, remember that, right? and boom and also we need to save it because uh reasons let's just grab it on a desktop as an unnamed and we're good to go all right so now let's see what's up okay so here let's go to the top and cut it from here like this and let me see this in fact let's cut it just a little bit up to here that's good mirror this to the other side and go to the front view and let's grab this cyclic and let's slice it so um, go to angon and turn slide cyclic on I mean off, sorry, and press T to make it a little bit wider and let's just slice it like this, okay? Uh, not the mesh, but the cutter, there you go. Boom. Let's hide this and sharpen and clean the mess. And of course, you know, this, we don't really need this. Uh, by the way, um, before we actually apply this, okay, before we apply this garbage, let's go back a little bit, right? Um, here. Oh, let me think. Uh, let me apply this cutter here, first of all. So operations, smart apply. And I can actually run the, the loops in here because we will need loops here. So we will need one loop here and one loop here, one loop here. It doesn't have to go around, but I'm just being lazy. You could just run, you know, this one needs to go down. You see, it goes through this corner. You need to drop it down. So GG and drop it down. And this one is completely useless, I think. Well, it's not really useless because it supports. I think, wait a minute, I think it's useless, is it? I think it's useless, yeah. We're fine without it. Now, sharpen, shift to, and peachy, uh, weighted normals, done. Cool, and we got something like this. All right. 
let's go to the front view and let's go with a box and let's cut something in here like this and well i actually wanted to cut it from the front so shift v and view and let's cut it in here okay so b for bevel and add some segments and in fact we could press t for solidification and switch it to live and let's grab an angle and let's slice this cutter in here like this all right so we got something like this and then you know sharpen shift to and uh, mimic i mean not mimic uh, mirror to the other side boom right and we got something like this pretty cool okay now what we can do is we could technically bevel this and by bevel i mean uh, chamfer awesome we have to clean this geo here meaning this is redundant gone let's grab a chamfer in here so let's grab a chamfer on these edges need to be careful with this one here let's see what's gonna happen yeah it's gonna pull but this is acceptable this kind of pull is acceptable so we could do something like this which is cool this bevel is a little bit insane so we can make it a bit smaller there we go cool and in the back here we could have you know two holes so it's realistic and let's here sharpen this thing and uh yeah that's pretty cool uh, we could do the same thing in here so oh, by the way you see this is really close let's let's recall this cutter we don't have to go so close it's a little bit close yeah so let's gy and just move it teensy weensy bit back yeah oh the cutter is already baked yeah so let's go back there we go and it's cut and gy and just move it a little bit back and then go with the uh, solidification and this should go this should go much better the, the middle i don't care about because i'm gonna be uh, shifting anyway but you see now this edge is not running through this other edge the bevel is not simply being uh, savaged over there this one is very easy fix just connect these two and you're done yeah so these things like that they need to be connected so you know um you gotta take care of these because they're gonna cause grief like here you see they're too close so shift one with machine tools yeah shift one machine tools is amazing there is a tool in hard ups for cleaning this as well but <clears throat> it's not really <clears throat> as quick as machine tools unless you have a lot of cleanup to do then actually hard ups is uh, much more uh, interesting because it, it um, allows you for cleaning well larger um, areas quick yeah um let's go to alt z and let's grab this and in fact what i want to do is grab an angle on and um, and you know slice it maybe like this okay alt z and then we're going to grab this one sharpen and you know insert it and extrude it and chair for this and whoa that's not what i wanted i wanted to extrude it out uh, up i mean vertically so easy extrude it here there we go and share for this that's better we got some problems with bevels here so what we need to do is simply switch bevel to weight and sort it and um, let's grab some rings in here and uh let's have some fun fun with good old em macro so um, em macro and inside it boom and bevel this right sharpen there we go and you know mirror this mirror this and we're done we're coming up with some kind of a generator or whatnot um give me mirror this one one more time to the, to the back now this part in here right the top could be 
you know, I don't know, uh, we could grab this, for example, the top here, all these up to here, and uh, curve extract, okay, and mirror to the other side, and we're gonna have this kind of like a um, cover on top, and we could uh, have some fun with the cover, so um, let's grab this one, and box, and let's just rotate it, and move it somewhere here, and slice it, and then uh, place another one in here, and slice it, and sharpen it, sharpen it, and we're good to go, and mirror this, and there we go, and go to top view, and grab an end gun, and let's have some fun with the shapes, really now, reset the mirror, and one more time, there we go, cool, okie dokie, uh, this one's a little bit skewed, um, so what happened here, fascinate, we could simply do the same thing here, so just move it outside like that, cool, not a problem, all right, side looks a little bit silly so we could simply you know slice it here as well so box and there we go some little notch and some two notches in the front because why not okay cool and there you go, and then we need some back here, so we could do the same thing in here. So grab all these buggers and, you know, we'll grab the W and with shift select all these. Um, we don't really need this one, yeah, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna just um, connect these, okay, very quickly. So J and go to face mode one more time, just select all these very quickly. Um, I don't wanna select the top just the bottom, so with shift, and I could select these ones as well, so go here and um, curve extract with shift again, and you know, simply mirror this to the other side, and now we could slice this here, so let's recall the cutters, alt H, shift 2, and alt H, come on, ready? Um, grab this cutter and remove the solidify, apply the weld, go to side view, make it larger, right, and slice this one, okay, difference, all right, and sharpen and shift two to hide the cutters and Bob Jonkel. Now, this one's gonna have to be adjusted, so let's just, you know, slice it like that so it doesn't look retarded, perfect, same as this one, whoa. There we go. In fact, you know what we could do? Cut them together like this. There we go. That looks much more professional. And uh, let's go to the back here. And uh, this is all quads-ish. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Uh, let's go here and have some fun. Let's apply this crease and resharpen this. So control shift and click on sharpen to recalculate sharpen. Now we should have crease going on everywhere. Or if we don't, let's do it again. Yes, we do. Perfect. Now control one to apply subdivision. Uh, we don't really need crease in here. So we can just, you know, relax it. And not sure what the hell is going on in here. Oh, the mirror. Mirror needs to go above uh, the bevel. Boom, sorted. But it's still we're getting some. You know what? Let's just dissolve this. Whoa! Let's dissolve this edge. Can we? No, we can't. Fascinate. Okay, so now let's um, let's grab. Uh, let's not grab. Let's uh, let's drop loops in here. Okay, and let's select these uh, buggers. Right? 
that's enough and inset them a little bit so come on inset them a little bit all right and then extrude them did it work not as intended one more time let's uh let's see here ah oh, the bevel is here need to remove the bevel apply the mirror and boom now let's uh, insert it again and then e console and alt s and oh there we go now you're talking the other way around there we go now that's uh subdivision is kicking in really nicely so apply bevel now the bevel we're gonna be running on weight so it will not affect these uh these little buggers here so we're gonna be you know all right and actually let's go with subdivision uh two instead of one here we go so control two this should flatten you see like when it's control one it's a little bit you know this is just a bit squarish control two beautiful right this needs a bit of work but let's see what the hell is going on here it's a mirror issue or what i i'm not eyes not follow mark and mark this one if we remove this right this should be removable dissolve edges fascinate um hmm There's no mirror going on in here, right? Let's remove this one. Fascinating. Let me see the subdivision. Subdivision is causing this, but why? Hmm. That is curious. And that's because of this edge. Let me remove this edge and dissolve this one. There we go. There's some double edge over there. You sneaky bastard. Sneaky bastard. Let's remove this one too. Perfect. What the hell is going on here? Three to clean this. And no dice. Um, there's a double edge here too. Dissolve edge. And let's just simply combine this here with J that didn't work hang on a second what is going on here oh there's a face that needs to be faced up so to speak F are we good perfetto okay let's save this this thing before disaster now the bottom is a little bit too close so we're gonna end gun this thing a little bit you know just for fun all right like that slice it come on and sharpen oh we can't sharpen because it's going to actually apply sharps where we don't want them now what on earth is going on here? Let's combine these two. You need to remember that you're running sub D, yeah? So there's a lot of geo running around. And any funny business could be disastrous. Smart apply. Now I'm gonna have to run these uh, sharps. You see there's these bollocks here. Um, that's what smart applied it I think didn't it yes let's not do that let's apply manually the bullion but the bullion if I'm gonna put it before the sub D could cause problems like this right right oh chihuahua uh, fuck it okay good let's just smart apply this I don't care and let's apply mark sharp in here because we will need it and uh, what we can do is simply run a cleanup so let's go to mesh tools i mean op operation uh, operations and clean mesh and this should remove all the junk from the mesh to an extent of course because you know 
you're gonna be left with some pig geo but it doesn't really bother me because it doesn't um, ruin my shading so i really don't care let me see here we could do something with those corners because they look a bit boring so uh, let's run some loop in here and we're gonna repeat it on the other side so so like these buggers and um let's maybe run um yeah macro on this one so kind of like this and maybe this is a little bit too much so a little bit less like this and you know so, um so like this edge here and just uh bevel it a little bit on this side and mirror it to the other and let's clean this geo a little bit here on this side all right so clean it up to here and clean it up to here and we should be good no we're not so let's connect these and this oops dissolve this one there we go and here looks all right fine and there we go, it's little, our little generator or whatnot. Um, quite quick model, to be honest. Easy. And then insert and easy. That didn't go straight, did it? Easy. There we go. And easy. Alright. 